Now, another new breaking story to tell you about tonight. Anonymous government sources have been repeatedly leaking to the media details about the FBI informant who did spy on the Trump campaign. And at the same time, they're accusing the president, Republicans, even people like me, of putting this informant's life in danger. I've known the guy's name for the full week. Here's the latest example from the Washington Post. Bigger than Watergate, Trump joins push by allies to expose the role of an FBI source. They are falsely smearing not only the president and congressional Republicans and yours truly. No, we're trying to conduct an investigation. Congress is. They have constitutional oversight authority. They're supposed to do this. In the process, Washington Post, as biased as they are, is revealing key details about who the person is. For example, quote, the source is a U.S. citizen and has provided information over the years to both the FBI and the CIA, as the Post previously reported, and aided the Russia investigation both before and after Mueller's appointment in May of 2017, according to people familiar with his activities. Okay, on the face of this, it's ridiculous. And for the record... The person's name has been out there in the media. I've known it for over a week. And by the way, it's not some closely held state secret. What is withholding now or unfolding before our eyes is utter insanity and the total hypocrisy on display for the cold country to see. You got the DOJ, FBI, are accusing the president, Republicans, people like me, of endangering a source. At the same time, anonymous law enforcement, intel officials, they're the ones leaking the details about who the informant is. That is what we call a deliberative smear. Now, here's point number two. This is really important. These unnamed federal officials have leaked more information to the New York Times and Washington Post than they've given to Congress.